Oh, shit. Yeah, I should write. If I want a mouthpiece, and I'm trying to develop my mouthpiece, then I should talk to people. And the reason I say people and not women, because your mouthpiece is never turned off. Game is never game is not turned off or on. Y'all hear how some of these people and in, in, in content creators talk about game like a like a like a like a role, like a cape, like a, a a act or something that you're doing, like you're spitting game, like you're like you know what I'm saying? Like they, they put it like so then you lead to ask questions like when do I stop? Like when do I stop? When do I when when do I ever be myself and blah blah blah? You didn't have game if you had to portray an actor or a character. Because that's not how game thinks. That's not even sustainable. Which is why your common sense tells you, well, at what point can I actually let loose and be myself around her? And but You have common sense. You realize that that's a flawed solution. Eventually, it's not sustainable. You're always pretending to be somebody and put this fucking act on. And someday she's going to see it and then she's going to leave. Common sense. Mouthpiece, though. Dog, you can use that shit in so many different unique circumstances. I, tell, I, I can tell you, listen, if I've logged my life, it, would, it would, y'all would be mind blown about how my mouthpiece and how my conversations have gotten me in and out of shit. Um, man, where do I, I, every day, damn near, every fucking day, every fucking day, every fucking day, literally something going on right now, I can't even talk about it because it's ongoing. Um, and it, it, it listen, I, I can't even talk about it. But I'm gonna give you a random story. It's just I can come up with a million. First of all, me getting a me getting a full ride to the college I go to, mouthpiece came from the mouthpiece. Me, the mentor I have, one of my mentors who's a financial advisor who now I work with, mouthpiece. I met him when I was 17, mouthpiece. Um, the 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 some of the public speech speeches I've given at, at big events that I've I've been the only student at my university to, to be there. How did I get that opportunity? My mouthpiece, a connection I made, a relationship I built, mouthpiece. And then they say, hmm, we need somebody to, to do this. And then they think of me. Bam, I get the opportunity, boom, I serve up, I slam dunk it, and then they keep serving me more. I, th- I mean, I'm going to give a random specific one. I was at this local, I've, I've said, talked about this on stream before, random ass story. I was in a fucking... Um, What's the place called? A shawarma store near my near me, right? And I, I usually go there. That's my little spot, right? And I'm, I'm cool with the owner. You know, his daughter works the desk. She also goes to the university or whatever. It's like, you know, it's, it's like I go in there. It's like family vibes. Like, I fuck with them. I go in there, and it's this couple in here. And it's, it's this couple and it's like third guy. Now, they, we all just having this random conversation here. Long story short, right? The lawyer. Exactly. So, y'all remember this. The the fucking woman in the in the relationship, she was she ended up being like some like real estate lawyer or some shit like that. We, whole time we just started fucking talking. Now I'm not like I bagged her. That's not what I'm saying because this she was with her boyfriend. It's not what this is about. But we all just you know pu- having a public random strangers just having a conversation. Dog, she hand off her information. Listen, here's my number. You know, I'm a lawyer downtown, blah, blah, blah. I'm with mortgage and real estate, blah, blah, blah. Because I took, you know, I'm about to get into real estate and all that type of shit. So she like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I work with the banks and blah, blah, blah. And we, you know, this is literally my job to blah, blah, blah. At a fucking uh, a shawarma store. Half of y'all niggas don't even know what shawarma is probably. We, I'm just at a restaurant. Sitting side by side to some people. And then now we get to chatting. And now she and she a whole career that, lo and behold, is about to be useful. This is what your mouthpiece can do. Y'all be thinking like, I want her to follow. I want her to go on the second date. Y'all niggas think too small, bro. I want her to fuck me. Y'all think too small. Cause once you once you once you get the pussy, then what? What is y'all relationship? I get the pussy, then I get the next pussy, then I get the next woman, then I can fuck, then I can fuck, and fuck her, fuck her, fuck her. That's it. Dog, you you probably not even the first one to fuck. You're not gonna be the last one to fuck, and and guess what? What you fuck, and then you get in your feelings, and then you all obsessed with her, and you went you was aiming for the wrong shit. 
Yeah, I think too small, man. And, and, and it's, 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 it's such a weak way of living. Think big, man. You gotta start thinking big. I gotta see the bigger picture. I gotta see everything, man. You gotta see everything. 